This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God Written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh In today's episode we continue with the transfer of training with Book 3 In Chapter 2, this is Section 7 Holy Relationship is a Shift of Mind A Shift Away from the Personal A friend recently asked me to share more personal miracle shifts from my journey so she could relate to the ideas I share. The Spirit uses the parables. People smile and nod in recognition of the divine principle that glimmers beyond the stories. Abstraction is the natural condition of the mind. Parables are very specific examples that serve to point to a state of mind that experiences nothing as special and perceives everything in the cosmos as a happy dream and a reflection of God's love. I experience God's love as universal, expansive and unlimited. God's love is literally beyond definition of any kind. The Holy Spirit uses many examples and metaphors to point to the present moment, which is the presence of God's love. The examples are witnesses that God's love is not dependent on form or specifics at all. The Holy Spirit can use any symbol to help the sleeping mind recognize this pristine and tranquil moment. Holy relationship is not between people. It is very simply the purpose of acceptance and non-judgment, held firmly and surely in mind. It looks and waits and watches and judges not. It does not seek to change the world, for holy relationship is the symbol of a forgiven world. The purpose is equally applicable to every person, place, thing, situation and event. The purpose is the understanding that there are no real differences possible in unified awareness. Love is an all-inclusive. Love is all-inclusive because love is one. Love is friendly because everyone is a friend in the experience of extending love. The cosmos of time and space was made to hide love and push it out of awareness. So examples of love in action, so to speak, are extremely helpful in awakening to love's presence, which is ever-present. Here are some specific examples that point to holy relationship or what I refer to as holy union. Name one and name two are symbols. They are symbols which represent two people. Holy relationship is not between name one and name two. The symbols of people, like all symbols, are used by the Holy Spirit to point toward divine love. The symbols are never the actual experience of love, for representations and reflections of love always reflect the belief that love and symbols are the same. Love is God's will and thus has no object, and symbols can but point to the experience of love. Never mistake a symbol for anything real, for symbols are temporary and reality is eternal. The holy relationship can be described as loving, trusting, open, honest, kind, free, spontaneous, present, affectionate, non-judgmental, inclusive, happy, joyful, peaceful, extending, communicating, healing and very simply wonderful. 
The holy relationship is not romantic, sexual, possessive, exclusive, time-based, judgmental, controlling, fearful, angry, guilty, jealous, or comparative. And the holy relationship is definitely not insane or sick in any way. The holy relationship is therefore unlike any and all interpersonal relationships that seem to be so very common and natural in this world. Relationships based on separation, autonomy and individuality. Holy relationship is shared purpose. Only the Holy Spirit's purpose truly be extended or shared. Only the Holy Spirit's purpose can truly be extended or shared. The attempt to share ego concepts and beliefs is therefore the attempt to share nothing. But nothing cannot be shared. Only love is capable of being extended or shared. Love simply extends and shares, being what it is. What form does holy relationship take? It takes whatever form is helpful to demonstrate the lesson that form is meaningless and love is all meaning. That love is content and not form of any kind. Love is a state of mind and cannot be reduced to objects in a field of ego consciousness within linear time. In holy union, there is no past and there is no future. In this world, saying our relationship has no future means that a relationship has come to an end. But under the Holy Spirit's guidance, these same words take on a very different meaning. The present meaning. Live for the moment. For now is truly everything. This is the key to happiness, not of this world, to the happiness that comes from God. In A Course in Miracles, Jesus teaches that minds are joined and cannot separate, and cannot separate. Yet in the dreaming, has this been reversed, and separate minds are seen as bodies, which are separated and which cannot join. Text Chapter 28, Section 3 He also teaches that the Holy Spirit's purpose lies safe in your relationship and not your body. Text Chapter 20, Section 6 The relationship is thus the loving attitude you share and cannot be defined in terms of bodies. Bodies seem to come and go, and thus relationships that are defined by bodies are temporary. The attitude of love is everlasting, and this can only be experienced when all body thoughts have been released to the Holy Spirit. How is this done? Let the Holy Spirit tell you where and when to bestow miracles and let Jesus perform them through your mind. Feel the joy of purpose as you step back and let the Holy Spirit lead the way. Do not attempt to tell the Holy Spirit who needs miracles and where and when. For only by receiving the miracles first can you be directed and instructed by the Holy Spirit? The desires of the ego fade, grow dim and disappear in holy relationship. The desires for bodily comforts and conveniences, preferences, appetites and countless distractions of the ego become more and more peripheral in awareness. Then, 
in the holy instant they are gone and the mind rests in peace at last. In form it seems that I meet countless brothers and sisters as I travel. There seems to be a gigantic spiritual family joined in shared purpose. It is a vast holy relationship in which the faces and places seem to change and the names and languages seem to change. Yet the purpose is constant. Holy relationship is so vast that it feels very abstract. For all scraps of the personal are washed away in the river of love. The river sees no special bodies and no couples. The river sees no groups or congregations for the river empties into an eternal ocean that is completely abstract. The memories of time-space fade and grow dim and disappear in oneness and the river of revelation shows glimpses of this boundless ocean. People always seem to be very interested in the script. The feeling of love inside one's heart has nothing to do with the script. Form is eclipsed by content and this experience renders the form irrelevant. Such is the mysticism of love for the mind that comes to a single desire. Creation is revealed as what is. Let our beloved holy relationship lead the way. Let all symbols merge in a forgiven world and welcome the disappearance of the cosmic universe. The universe of spirit is all and nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God.